A Fang brother Alan I the sage benevolence of today, first exempted the spring tax, and also wrote the prisoner and the prisoner. What if there are their own daughters and sisters in this release? When others were busy identifying relatives, Shen Xiaoguang greedily watched the scenery on the street. This is Chang'an City. The streets are white and flat, with tall elms and poplars beside the road. Pedestrians riding donkeys are walking in a hurry or leisurely. Even the chirping of the birds on the trees seems to be tinged with human fireworks. Shen Xiaoguang once again carried the burden on his shoulders and walked forward. Seeing that their clothes and styles are not like the Imperial Army, the follow-up matter of dismissing the palace maids will belong to Jing Zhao House. Shen Xiaoguang stepped forward to Fu Yufu, turned the usual elegant words into Chang'an dialect, and said with a smile, Home is not far away, you can go back by yourself. There were cries all around, the officer was dazzled by her splendid smile, and heard the familiar sound of Chang'an again, they looked at each other before they let Goth above only said that those who have relatives will be taken away by relatives, and the remaining few who have travelled a long way will be temporarily sent to Guanyi, and they can return to their hometown with the Jinggong festival, but they did not say that they would not let people go home by themselves. What's the matter? A green-robed official accompanied a high-ranking red-robed official to inspect. The green-robed official looked kindly looked at the young boss beside him for instructions, and let him go? Su Shi, a high-ranking official in red robe, is not yet the age of kindness, and there is no expression on his handsome face, please show the public inspection. Shen Xiaoguang felt bad when he saw them, and at this time he was even more unlucky, so he had to take out the public inspection document from his burden and hand it to the officer next to him and the officer passed it on to the senior officials in red robes. The high official in the red robe looked up at Shen Xiaoguang, his eyes were a little sharp, and the first line of the document read Luo Yang Renshi. Shen Xiaoguang looked innocent. Anyway, I didn't say that I was from Chang'an. As for the distance that is a subjective concept. The corner of the high official's mouth pursed slightly, and then he read the document. The back of the document is age. Shen Xiaoguang knew that his father was known to all, so there was nothing to be afraid of. The worst thing is to send me to the uncle's uncle's house in Luoyang. When I am a lady under the fence, can I still put me back in the palace? I don't blame him for asking. Looking up, the other palace maids are older than Shen Xiaoguang, and there are even a few with autumn frost on their temples. Shen Xiaoguang is among them, and the wife is also eye-catching. Shen Xiaoguang squinted and smirked, I left the palace because of illness. Not to mention the officials this time, even the two officers also saw the problem. This girl is tall and well-proportioned, with pink and white face, and she is weak, um, weak. Do you know what royal privacy is involved? It is not the royal privacy, it only involves the inner supervisors, and it is not easy to tear it apart. The green-robed official quickly followed. The two officers were stunned, what does this mean? Shen Xiaoguang smiled and said to the two officers, two lords, I'm leaving. The officer came back to his senses, looked at each other, returned the public inspection document to Shen Xiaoguang, and let him go. Actually, Shen Xiaoguang was a little surprised, and thought he had to go to Luoyang to be a cabbage. Could it be that the person wearing the red robe thought I could be released, what's the big trick, and made up for the 80 episodes of Gongda drama? People who love brain supplements are cute. The green robe official and Shen Xiaoguang saw the same thing, and felt that although this new Lin Sheyin was a little deserted and too young, he was sensible and knowledgeable. Judging from my own experience of getting over a dozen Jing Xiaoyin and Xiaoyin, the most important thing for an official in Jing Zhao Mansion is to be cautious. Where is Chang'an City? Throwing a tile can smash three people in red and purple. There might be a sister, a, uh, or brother who is a concubine in the palace who sells hoo cakes on the street. Can you not act cautiously? Shen Xiaoguang walked south along the road, the houses in the south of the city were cheap, so first find a place to live. Shen Xiaoguang had a plan for his future livelihood to engage in the catering industry. 
In my past life, I was an editor of a food magazine, specializing in writing about eating, drinking, and drinking. In this life, I worked in the imperial kitchen for a while. Although I have limited practical ability to cook, I have passed the theoretical knowledge. Shen Xiaoguang I feel that it should not be a problem to support myself with this. When it comes to support, I think of money, and when I think of money, I can't help but feel a pain in the flesh. That Jian Huan, who was in charge of replacing the palace maids, was so ruthless. Not too far, after passing Changxian Square, Shen Xiaoguang stopped. I remember that there was a piece of bamboo in the vestibule the memory is so deep, because a small green snake drilled out of the bamboo forest and made the original body cry. Shen Xiaoguang's mind flashed again the scene of the original father Yu Xia composing a poem to Zhu drinking. I don't know who is singing about bamboo now, and Shen Xiaoguang is a little emotional. How can Chongxian Square be counted within the Third Ring Road? According to memory, I found the old Shen family house. There is a black head gate in the high-walled compound. The steps are very clean. There are servants entering and leaving the corner gate. From the outside, you can see the heavy eaves and a bamboo shadow in the courtyard. I wonder if this bamboo is the other bamboo? I originally wanted to stop by and take a look, and then go south, but when I inspected the current situation of the catering industry in the workshop and saw Guangming Nunnery, Shen Xiaoguang changed his mind. Zhaikani, who was in charge of the reception, had eight shaped eyebrows, triangular eyes, and thin lips, and he didn't look very good. Shen Xiaoguang was relieved. If Zhaik was a young and beautiful girl in Yishui, he would never dare to talk about staying overnight. After all, it's hard to say whether this Taoist temple's nunnery is in the business of gods and Buddhas or the business of flesh and blood. Think about Yu Suanji, think about the steamed buns in A Dream of Red Mansions. Zhaik's eyes swept across Shen Xiaoguang's half-old cinnamon shirt and skirt, with only two silver hairpins and buns, and pondering her small burden, which reminded Shen Xiaoguang of visiting luxury stores in his previous life experience. Shen Xiaoguang's neck was straight, his jaw was slightly retracted, and a reserved smile stretched on his face. Zhaik was confused by her imposing manner, hesitated for a while, and took her to see the host. The host is fifty or sixty years old, with a round face and a kind face, Shen could it be the lady of the Shen family in Loxia? Shen Xiaoguang sighed with emotion and said softly, If you humiliate the ancestors, don't mention it. That's it. The host nodded, the strange way is so elegant. Praise the charm, decent people in this dynasty, about the equivalent of five-star praise on Dobeo in later generations, they are all human favors, Shen Xiaoguang smiled and accepted. The host is indeed a good talker. Regarding the question of Shen Xiaoguang's accommodation, he agreed. Although the host didn't care, Shen Xiaoguang insisted on paying the rent for three months in the nunnery according to the amount on the order. The teacher said with a smile, since the little lady insists on being a gentleman, so be it. Make people feel more at ease. It happened that there were no other pilgrims staying in the nunnery, and there were no female nuns, and maybe there was a relationship between Shen and Gao Hua, Shen Xiaoguang divided two very good Zen rooms in the main house, spacious and bright. In order to express her gratitude, Shen Xiaoguang personally made a bowl of colorful cakes and sent it to the host. In fact, there is nothing very commendable about this souffle, it is just trouble. When cooking, each type of water should be boiled in another pot, so that the soup is not cloudy and the color is not beautiful. The cake looks good, and the taste depends on the soup base. The soup base is boiled with mountain mushrooms. Mushrooms are rich in various amino acids and can produce a meat-like aroma. Only such a fragrant soup can blend the unique flavors of the five-color soba. When Shen Xiaoguang sent it, the host had already eaten the evening meal, but this bowl of soba was so beautiful that one could not help but eat it. Sunflower, perilla, yellow rice, um, sesame is the most fragrant. The host had a very clever tongue. Seeing that the host ate a bowl of soba, and the disciple next to him, Jing Ching, 
pursed his lips. He just said today that he needs to go on a diet to support his health. I can't believe what Master said. But this bowl of soba, smells really good and looks good. I didn't expect this donor Shen to have such craftsmanship. A bowl of soba aroused the host's chatter. The old lady recounted the various noodles she had eaten. The sheep soup hudo in the northwest should be eaten with a lot of pepper, and it is good to eat it until the temples are sweating, the sauce braised suo cake is best to use bird meat fried sauce, served with cucumber shredded coriander, our chong on cold scoop is best served with shrimp or mandarin fish, Shen Xiaoguang listened with a smile, I didn't expect the host to travel to so many places, it's great. The point is, the old lady eats meat. Does that mean that you don't need to stop eating meat when you live here? In order to make the old lady happy, Shen Xiaoguang followed her words. What the teacher said is very true. Whether the food is good or not varies from time to time, from place to place, and from person to person. Shen Xiaoguang's cooking skills can only be regarded as third rate, but the comments are housekeeping skills, and he laughed at the moment, eating cold in the twelfth lunar month. No matter how beautiful it is, it is less refreshing, and this varies from time to time, in Hangzhou, eating mutton and pepper hudo is too strong. In the northwest, eating green water chestnut soup cake is slightly bland. Braised meat, especially pork with three layers of five flowers, is fragrant and flavorful, and it varies from person to person. A few words will raise it to a theoretical height. The host teacher Tai clasped his palms and laughed, wonderful. I have never said it so thoroughly. What we said today is enough to write a bread classic dot. Shen Xiaoguang jokingly said, the food and drink scriptures are not like Shi Tai, who has traveled thousands of mountains and rivers and tasted all kinds of ups and downs. If you write Bing Jing, I would like to make paper and grind ink for Shi Tai. And then added another sentence. Lu Chushi already has the book of tea, if Shi Tai writes the book of bread again, this is really a blessing for those who love to eat and drink. Listening to Shen Xiaoguang comparing himself to Lu Yu, the teacher laughed more and more happily, this child can really speak. The host just said that the bread classic was just a casual mention, and now it has become a bit of such a vulgar interest. Why don't you just write it and read it? Otherwise, I will really live up to the mountains and rivers that I have walked through and the delicious food I have eaten. Jing Qing smiled half helplessly and half indulgently. Master has no other hobbies, so he just stutters, but as Master said, the disciples did not grow this wisdom root, this time finally I met a confidant. Shen Xiaoguang returned soon, and Jing Qing brought the eight character eyebrows to know the guest Jingkai, and each of them brought a pot of flowers over. A pot of peony and a pot of jasmine are all blooming just right. Jing Qing smiled and said, Master is waiting for me to send two pots of flowers to the donor to add some fragrance. Shen Xiaoguang knew that this was a gift for the bowl of noodles, and hurriedly thanked him. After saying a few more polite words, Fang sent Ernie out. Senior sister, even if this lady Shen was born in the Shen family in Loxia, she is still a dead branch of the Shen family. It has fallen into disrepair. Why is the host so polite? Jing Xi looked at Shen Xiaoguang's house Li is really simple and simple, and he doesn't even have a servant, so it can be seen that he is really poor. Jing Kai shook her head in disapproval, having a good surname is really good. Since settled in this Changxian Square Guangming Temple, Shen Xiaoguang began to work on his own catering business plan. The first step is careful market research. I've seen it roughly before, but if I really want to start doing it, rough is not enough. Doni in the nunnery was about to have a morning lesson, and the first morning drum sounded, and he got up. Although Shen Xiaoguang didn't do morning classes, he got up early, washed and cleaned up, and went out with a few pennies. The baker was a young man with thick eyebrows and big eyes. He didn't know what time he got up. He had already baked two ovens put them in a bamboo basket, and covered them with a thin quilt. Seeing Shen Xiaoguang, a young lady who came to buy cakes at this hour, looked at her in surprise. Shen Xiaoguang raised his eyebrows. 
The ears of the young baker were a little red, so he quickly wiped his hands on his apron, took out a cake from the basket and handed it to her. Shen Xiaoguang took a bite while it was still hot. Such a cake is only sold for three yuan, and it really makes a lot of money. There is another hodo not far away, and the water has been boiled for preparation. Further on, there is a larger restaurant. Shen Xiaoguang went in and saw that there were about 20 food cases, and there were food signs on the counter, which said mutton steamed cake, gyuluzi, candied date fragrant rice porridge, mutton soup cake and so on. After drinking the soup, after strolling through the small streets, Shen Xiaoguang came to the door. Here, I didn't go back to the nunnery until the gate was opened and the curfew was officially lifted. The second day and the third day came out again, the itinerary was similar, but the choice of food was different. The author has something to say sapi is roughly the equivalent of noodles. In the late spring, the sun rises earlier. Dongfang fish belly is white, and the morning drum is halfway through. People who go to court, business people, and people who go out to do errands all gather at the gate of the workshop, waiting for the drum to be released. Not far from Fangmen, there are several food stalls that are steaming hot, doing business for pedestrians who get up early. Zhao Bie, who sells wontons, Da Chu, who is carrying a basket of hu cakes, and Liu Sunyang, who fries his head, are all old faces we see every day, but today there is one more face, or a little lady with a rather iconic appearance all mondade, snow-skinned, tall and tall, if she were more plump she could be called a beauty. In front of her was a charcoal stove with a flat-bottomed iron clang on top. There was a small bamboo stand beside the clang, and a thick white porcelain bowl on top contained some condiments such as oil sauce. Crack an egg and put it on, and it becomes a cake in an instant. The little lady didn't take it by hand, but shoveled it into the prepared thick bamboo hemp paper bag with a small shovel. Paper, but a precious thing is used to make cakes, and it is very particular. Someone came up to ask the price right now, 10 cents, although not cheap, but it is not expensive in terms of so much attention. The sauce is fragrant with some scallions and coriander, which is very beautiful. Seeing that he was eating well, other people came to buy it, and some of the nobles who rode and rode also sent servants, and gradually they were crowded in front of the stall. Jing Zhao Sheyin Lin Yan lifted the curtains of the car window, and caught a glimpse of the commotion not far away, with Hu Fu Huan hair, willow eyebrows and almond eyes, and a smile on the corner of his mouth. The palace servant who was released two days ago? In the old days, Wang Ziatang's front swallows flew very happily in the streets here. A servant in Tsing Yi came to the window and asked in a low voice, A Lang doesn't have to eat in the morning, can I go buy some cakes? Blind stuff. All right, Lin Yan nodded, put down the gauze curtain, buy a few more. I want to buy a few more. The servant in Tsing Yi was startled, looked at the master through the window screen, and then turned to look at the little lady who was selling cakes over there. Xia ran towards the food stall. In the car, Lin Yan lightly rubbed his eyebrows with his fingers. I haven't had a good rest these days, and my eyes are sore. Today the emperor is going to Yunkai to worship the sky and pray for rain. The emperor's trip is a major event. Although the guard is responsible for the protection of the imperial army, the evacuation and investigation along the way is a matter of Jing Zhao House. Qin Xiang, the commander of the imperial guard, used to be the emperor's close attendant, and he was quite arrogant. Thinking of this eunuch, Lin Yan felt that his temples hurt. Lin Yan thought about the security of the capital again. Prices in Beijing have not changed much recently, and each bucket of rice has risen by about 10 cents. As long as the canals and rivers are still flowing, and there are Chongping warehouses to store grain, there will be no major problems with the food of the people who come to Jiayongi. It's just because of the drought that people's hearts are a little unstable, and there are rumors like river beasts appear, the eyes of the sky are closed, rumors. Three thousand morning drums beat, and when the door opened, the servant in Tsing Yi came back with a few pancakes, a lang eat while it's hot. 
you two should split up. Lin Yan knocked on the wall of the car, motioning to move forward. The servant in Tsing Yi was startled, looked at the shaky car window screen, and then turned to look at the little lady who was still busy over there. Could it be that I was wrong? The wave of people who got up early and went out was gone, the sun came out, and another wave of breakfast was sold for people who didn't get up late, and Shen Xiaoguang closed the stall like other small vendors. Shen Xiaoguang positioned his pancakes as mid to high-end breakfast, this is a high-end community, and most of the residents have good purchasing power. Some people buy it, although the cost of the paper bag increases, it is hygienic. It prevents people from being too picky or afraid of contaminating their hands, and the sauce, chopped green onion, and cake crumbs will fall on the cuffs of the shirt. Riding a horse, holding it with one hand, and eating while walking. I tested the water today, and this positioning is also reliable. Shen Xiaoguang weighed the money in his purse and made a rough estimate. After the cost, he could earn 80 or 90 cents, and he could earn more than 2,000 cents in that month. The first school clerk is only more than $10,000, and his expenses for an orphan girl are enough. But it is a distant dream to buy a house in Chang'an with these 2,000 yuan. Comrades still need to work hard. Shen Xiaoguang dragged the car back to the nunnery where he was staying, and met Jingkai, as Haik waiting at the door. Jing Xi squinted her triangular eyes and looked from Shen Xiaoguang to the small stove on the small shelf in the car, and asked with a smile, Miss Shen is very busy early in the morning. Shen Xiaoguang squinted and smiled, Yes, go out to evacuate. Also evacuated, obviously going out to do that businessman's business. There was a sarcastic smile on Jing Xi's lips. In all fairness, Jing Kai has no opinion on the merchants, especially the family members of the big merchants who come to offer incense. Jing Kai felt that what Shen Xiaoguang had done had simply defiled the lintel of the nunnery. Can't stand it. Shen Xiaoguang dragged the car past her, while Jing Kai turned around and flew to Jing Qing like a moth. That little lady Shen actually sells cakes on the street. It's really unethical. Jing Qing coughed a little embarrassedly, you forgot, they paid the rent. What about that? Just give it back to her. That's not what I said, Jing Qing persuaded bitterly, it makes people know that we don't keep the promise, and it is inevitable that the reputation of the nunnery will be hindered. Listening to Jing Qing's word reputation, Jing Kai finally became sober and pondered for a moment, that's it, let her live for the full three months. Jing Qing recalled the scene where the donor Shen brought pancakes to the host two days ago. Master was eating pancakes, and listened to the patronage Shen say, It is rich to seek, even if a man with a whip, I will also do it. How did the teacher respond at that time? Little lady really practiced the words of the master, which is admirable. Listen, selling pancakes is a practice of Confucius. Before the food, master really has no morals. What is the three-month period, according to this shape, maybe when the master will agree to let Mrs. Shen open a restaurant in the nunnery? But these words can't be said to the disciples next to you, and you have to give master some face. Jing Xi was still chattering freely, how can you say this noble lady can go out to make a living? Isn't she a fake gentry? Did the last emperor Pui I know about it? The author has something to say the Analects of Confucius, Shuer. Then he raised his hand and threw the egg shell into the small bucket next to it, which was very handsome, the other hand was no longer assisted in turning the cake, and the flipping with one hand was rarely broken or stacked together, the chopped green onion is also neat and even, and I feel a little bit like the heavenly masters throwing beans into an army. Business is also getting better and better. In addition to repeat customers, there are early adopters every day. My wife likes your cakes very much. She tried to make them, but she couldn't get the taste. A teen-year-old maid chatted with Shen Xiaoguang while waiting. The child's face is round, very happy. The lady said, your sauce is especially good, what's in it? Shen Xiaoguang smiled, I'm at the gate of this workshop every day, come here whenever I like, why bother? The little maid tilted her head and thought about it 
that's right. Hua Hua's wealthy servants. He raised his eyebrows and looked at the other party, the other party thought she was going to be annoyed, but Shen Xiaoguang smiled again, want hot sauce or sweet sauce? Shen Xiaoguang is of course less angry, this level is more subtle than beauty, add a WeChat. Today, the person who struck up a conversation was different, not slick, nor pretentious, with a little shyness in his expression, and a young age, about 20 years old, wearing nine wearing a light green official uniform, tall and slender with a drab voice and a slight pimple on his face, Shen Xiaoguang suddenly remembered the boys in college. The past lifetime that can never be returned, Shen Xiaoguang sighed. Because of this emotion, Shen Xiaoguang was extremely patient with him, of course this is not just white noodles. The white noodles stick to the teeth, and when eating, they have to poke them down with a fire stick. The young man was stunned for a moment and laughed. Shen Xiaoguang smiled and asked, Do you want hot sauce or sweet sauce? Away. The next day, the young man came again, this time for five pancakes. Shen Xiaoguang glanced at him, Are you really going to college to bring meals to the brothers in the dormitory? But if you don't make money, you don't make money, Shen Xiaoguang quickly made him three sets of spicy and two sets of non spicy and joked, if Lang Jun buys ten, he will return give one. The young man gave Shen Xiaoguang a shy look, licked his lips, thank you. Shen Xiaoguang was a little embarrassed and continued to tease. On the third day, although it did not become ten sets, it became seven sets. Shen Xiaoguang doesn't know what to say anymore, I hope this guy is the breakfast agent. In Jing Zhao Mansion, Several young officials each held a pancake and chewed. Young people have a rich nightlife. They sleep late and get up late. Morning meal? Recorder Lu Feng lived nearby. One time, he bought an extra cake and was eaten by a hungry colleague. He was immediately shocked. The officials were an instant hit, and Lu Lushi has since embarked on the road of a breakfast takeaway brother. This spicy one really tastes good. After eating one, it became even more appetizing. Lu San, bring me another one next time. The key is that this cake is exquisite. Have you ever seen street food in a paper bag? Look, there is a small seal shen on the corner of the bag. The well-mannered young man wiped the sauce at the corner of his mouth with a handkerchief, slowly flattened the paper bag, and pointed to the words on the corner for everyone to see, elegant and graceful with pure energy it's not like the people who use regular script to enter the seal script nowadays, and it has the meaning of two points ahead of Li Xiaojian. There are a lot of people in both regular script and cursive script. The scholars usually use both regular script and script, but there are not many people who work in seal script. The most famous one in Xiaozuan is Li Yangbing during Xian Zong. The rest of them can't say that they have any research on seal script but after all, they are all scholars, and they all look at their own cake bags. One of them smiled and said, I think there is a bit of boudoir spirit. Could it be that the person who engraved the seal is a little lady? Everyone laughed. Lu Feng's face was slightly red, and there was a hint of doubt in his eyes. Jing Zeyin by Jing Shan is a very kind person, he smiled and waved to the young people, while Shayin Lin Yan nodded slightly and the two walked over. The young officials raised their eyebrows and winked at each other. After three mouthfuls, they pressed down with tea and went back to their rooms. Bai Fuyin smiled and said, It smells weird, what are you guys eating? Smelling the fragrance that I smell at the entrance of the workshop every morning, Lin Yan smiled and said, The left and right are just cakes and the like. When I was young, I also used to eat cakes in the waiting yard. Young people, I always feel that I don't have enough sleep and I don't have enough to eat. Lin Yan smiled again. Bai Fuyin turned his eyes to look at the young deputy beside him, but I've never seen an Ran have such a time. Could it be that he's not very interested in these street goods? Bai Fuyin laughed and said, An Ran was born in Zhongming Dingxi's family, I think her tongue has been spoiled long ago. Lin Yan only smiled lightly. The door opened and it was time to eat. 
Shen Xiaowang could finally rest. She unhurriedly took a rag to wipe the countertop, the baking pan, and cleaned up the spilled sauce, chopped chives, etc. Liu Sunyang, who was selling thorns, walked over with a smile, Ashen's business is getting better and better. Shen Xiaoguang was constantly working on his work, he just raised his eyes and smiled, then I would like to thank Mrs. Liu for her good frying. Daily necessities, and many people usually buy them to satisfy their hunger. Shen Xiaoguang ordered Mrs. Liu, and asked her to fry the crisps similar to the offspring, and they did the same thing, except that a little sugar was added to it, which made it more sweet. Because I ordered this order myself, I asked others to change the recipe of the noodles, which was not suitable, so Shen Xiaoguang also changed the ingredients of his own sauce. Since the day she set up the stall, Shen Xiaoguang's business has been very good, how can the stall beside him not be jealous? Although Liu Sunyang was greedy, she had sold a lot of buns because of this, so she didn't dare to express any jealousy. Now that there are jokes about young people buying cakes, she naturally wanted to make fun of Shen Xiaoguang. No matter how well I fry the Tou, I still don't see that little man coming to buy the Tou every day. Mrs. Liu winked and smiled. Shen Xiaoguang stopped the rag in his hand and thought about it seriously, oh? Then my cake is really done. Mrs. Liu sneered, just pretend. Shen Xiaoguang smiled lightly, and then wiped. When everything is ready, put the stove rack on the trolley. Da Chiu, who sold Hu cakes next to her, gave her a hand and helped her put the stove in the car. Shen Xiaoguang thanked her politely, Chiu Dana nodded to her, and walked away with the cake basket. Liu Sunyang sighed in her heart that it is good to be young and beautiful. I also remembered that when my mother was young, there were people who had to eat three meals a day in order to see me. The author has something to say poke with fire chopsticks, this is Guo Di Gang's joke. Thinking of the emperor's prayer for rain more than half a month ago, there was a smirk on the corner of his mouth. God is lucky to have given his human son this face, otherwise it would be embarrassing. Shen Xiaoguang wrapped in a quilt again, and closed her eyes safely. Small vendors can be lazy because of the rain, but they can't. Lin Yan was sitting in the car and saw Lu Feng, a recording reporter not far ahead, holding an umbrella, wearing mango shoes, and waiting in the rain. I thought it was slippery, I didn't dare to ride a horse, I wanted to walk to the office. Lin Yan gestured to the servants outside the car, and one of them got off the horse and went to find Lu Feng. Lu Feng turned his head and bowed to Lin Yan's car from a distance, then said a few words to the servant and walked over together. Getting into the officer's car, Lu Feng was a little bit cramped, and his stomach came to make trouble at this time, and he growled. Lu Feng's face became hot in an instant, and he only hoped that the sound of the rain outside could cover it up. Lin Yan glanced at him. Lu Feng was stunned, crossed his hands and said, I'm rude. It doesn't matter. Lin Yan smiled lightly, and paused for a moment, are the pancakes really that delicious? There was clearly a man selling Hu pancakes over there. Lu Feng's face turned redder and he said, Xiaoguan, Xiaoguan Lin Yan raised his hand slightly. Lu Feng closed his mouth and sat honestly. Lin Yan closed his eyes and rested. Shen Xiaoguang did what he said, and really waited until Chen Zheng got up, took a slow shower, and went out to the restaurant with an umbrella to eat a bowl of chicken wontons, the skin was not thin enough, and the filling was too small, the soup base still has some flavor. I strolled around, bought some rice, grain, and vegetables, and then walked back slowly. Walking to the back door of Shen's old house, I saw a begonia sticking out from the courtyard wall, and many petals fell. Tisk tisk, the rain hits the begonia, and the door is silently closed, what a poetic scene. Shen Xiaoguang searched his memory and was really impressed by this begonia. The original mother loves to collect crab apple petals, not for burying it, but for rouge use. She once said that its color is unparalleled, just father came over and joked with a smile, unfortunately there is no fragrance, the mother was angry at first seeing, 
and then couldn't help laughing. Thinking back to the days of Yeting, this lady is such a rich flower in the world as a begonia, how could she endure such sparring? The nine-year-old original owner, the original owner also endured another year, and finally went with her mother and replaced herself as a stranger. Shen Xiaoguang looked at this home that he had never lived in, and thought about the old things at home, and was quite emotional. I heard that there is a Jing Zhao Sheyin, a high-ranking official in red robes. Although the neighbors have lived for so many days, they have never seen what it looks like. I don't know when the vice mayor of Chang'an inspected the street food situation. Shen Xiaoguang was amused by his sense of humor, holding an umbrella, he walked back to the nunnery. Back in the nunnery, Shen Xiaoguang soaked glutinous rice, read two pages of book, wrote a few words, and also passed the first afternoon. Simply grab some noodles at noon, put some green vegetables, smash a poached egg, and make a bowl of green vegetable hodo. After putting it in the bowl, add two spoons of homemade garlic chili sauce smell. After dinner, after a lazy afternoon, I got up and fiddled with food. Because I bought some good glutinous rice today, I decided to make a Iwo Wo cake. The imperial palace of this dynasty also often made cakes, such as crystal dragon and phoenix cake, purple dragon cake, jade beam cake, cornel cake, chrysanthemum cake, maji e cake, etc. The name is very fancy, but it doesn't quite match Shen Xiaoguang's appetite probably because Tang people are a bit heavy on sweetness, think about it you need to pour sugarcane pulp to eat cherries. Therefore, at the turn of spring and summer, Shen Xiaoguang especially misses Iwo Wo in his previous life. Iwo Wo is not a hassle to make. Knead the boiled soft glutinous rice into glutinous rice dough, divide into small doses, press into skins, and fill with various fillings, such as hawthorn, sesame, jujube puree, and bean paste. After wrapping, put it on the cooked glutinous rice flour and roll it. It is said that it is also rolled on cooked flour, but cooked glutinous rice flour has always been used at home, and Shen Xiaoguang also feels that glutinous rice flour is authentic. What Shen Xiaoguang made today was not the one she had eaten in the past, the difference was not in the glutinous rice flour, but in the stuffing, she used the peony flour marinated seeds she made a few days ago. There is a large peony tree in the nunnery, with hundreds of flowers in full bloom, gorgeous crimson, very prosperous. Shen Xiaoguang picked up a lot of peony petals. He wanted to make two flower bags in a fashionable way. He suddenly remembered the famous rose halide in the red house, so he changed his mind again, smashed the flowers in a mortar, pickled them with sugar and honey, and passed them. After a few days, I went to Shen Guaki, and the taste turned out to be very good. I was too lazy to make other stuffing, just used it. The Iwo Wo of this peony braised child is very attractive. The snow white skin and the bright red stuffing remind people of fragrant words such as pink noodles and sandalwood mouth. Shen Xiaoguang put the Iwo Wo in a white porcelain plate and shared it with the food lover host Master Tai. What a delicate thing! The host laughed before eating. When she took a bite, she was even more surprised. Is this a peony flower? Shen Xiaoguang said with a smile, Isn't that the peony in the courtyard? I'm a serious borrowing flower to offer to Buddha. The host smiled and dipped Shen Xiaoguang with his hands. The two often chat, and now it's a little bit of a forgetful friendship. We have eaten peony petals before, but they were fried. It's not as sweet as yours, and the color is good. Shen Xiaoguang did not hide his secrets. He explained the method of making peony braised seeds, and the two discussed how to improve it again. After drinking tea and eating food, the plate of Iwo Wo went down. Shen Xiaoguang ate two, Jing Qing ate two, and the remaining four belonged to the host. This is so, the host is still unfinished. Shen Xiaoguang smiled and said, It's just in this season that this candied peony stuffing is available. Usually, Bean stuffing and jujube paste are good. The host suddenly remembered, it will be the beginning of summer in a few days. Compared with this flour cake, the bean cake we steamed in the nunnery in the past was too rough. 
why don't we replace it with this this year? At this time, there is a custom, eating steamed cakes in summer, it is said that you cannot get hot prickly heat. Jing Ching hurriedly responded. Shen Xiaoguang felt that it would be nice for a nun to be the old host. If you don't do it well, you will make people laugh. Jing Ching kicking gave a gift, I also asked the donor to give pointers. Since I live here, of course I have to help with this little task, Shen Xiaoguang agreed. Because of limited manpower and large quantity, Shen Xiaoguang suggested making bean paste stuffing because whether it is steaming, pounding, or straining, a large amount and a small amount all cost the same thing. The bean paste stuffing is still a precious thing at this moment. It is not because the material is expensive, but it is troublesome enough. It is said that the bean paste was the best made in the ladies' mansion of Kuakuo in Tianbao, called Lingxia, and the bean paste was placed in the glutinous rice cake. Because the cake was translucent when beaten, the color of the stuffing could be revealed. It is called through flour glutinous rice cake. The host watched Shen Xiaoguang directing the nun to fry bean paste, and told her an illusion, in the early years, there was a cake workshop in Chang'an East City, and the Tuhua glutinous rice was very particular. Because when the cakes are done well, the master is hired as a foreign official, known as the flour cake member Y. Shen Xiaoguang laughed and went out of his way to be the champion. It's a pity, but unfortunately I'm a woman, otherwise I can consider taking this path to work. Jing Xi stood on the edge, listening to Shen Xiaoguang chatting with the host, she couldn't help but be surprised, how could the host be so talkative and happy? Could it be that this little lady surnamed Shen presided over a witchcraft? Looking at these bean paste fillings, I can't help but calculate the money, how much I spend, and how much money I can get from each family. The author has something to say what Lin Sheyin said today will be beaten in the face in the future. Poor baby. Lin Sheyin smiled lightly, no pain. Beidou arrived, but no exact information was found. Adapted from the illusions in Qing Yi Lu. In addition, the passage of Iwa Wo refers to Beta Data and Mr. Deng Yungziang's Yungziang talking food. On the beginning of summer, when it was time to ring the bell, Lin Yan came back from the office. Grandmother is waiting for him to eat twilight. After washing her hands and face, and changing into homely clothes, Lin Yan came to the grandmother's courtyard. Brother, you are back. Mrs. Zhang Tai smiled happily. Lin Yan smiled. I told you not to wait for me, don't starve you. How can you not wait? I and Auntie are not here. I'm eating alone. It's boring. Mrs. Zhang Tai pouted first, then smiled again. Lin Yan's eyes are slender and slender, and the ends of the eyes are slightly raised, but the middle part is too straight. It is an atypical red phoenix eye. The whole face softened, what did you do at home today? A Chong and I so sachets, today is the beginning of summer. Oh, is it? Lin Yan served her grandmother a night of cabbage and egg drop soup. Because only the grandparents and grandchildren were eating, for the sake of fun, they did not divide the meal, but gathered together beside a large food table like the later generations. I know you're busy. Mrs. Zhang Tai moved the two plates of cakes over, this is our own steamed red date cake. These are sent from other places, and each one is picked up. 2. Which one do you try? Today we ate at the meeting hall, and the sage gave the cakes for the festival and returned to Jing Zhao Mansion. Lin Yan smiled and picked up a piece of his grandmother Yin Yin's gaze. Our jujube cake this year is very good, um, the buttermilk is a little too much. Not only the buttermilk, but also the sugar, the grandmother is old and has a dull taste. Take care of Mrs. Tai's taste and do it well. Lin Yan calmly took a sip of tea, sent over the overly sweet pastries, picked up a white round shape, took a bite, the glutinous rice skin was quite chewy and delicate the bean paste, which has the meaning of rouge cake in the palace, but not so sweet, is unexpectedly delicious, who sent this? The maid behind Mrs. Tai replied, it's the Guangming temple at the back door. Mrs. Zhang Tai also smiled 
their master Si Aiming is very good at making assorted wontons, but I didn't expect the cakes to be good too. No one has corrected Mrs. Zhang Tai that the host of Guangming Nunnery is Master Yuan Zhu, and Master Siming is from Hidong Jingzhen Nunnery, and it passed away twenty years ago, as if no one told her, in front of her is her grandson, not her self-imposed eldest brother. Mrs. Zhang Tai went along and talked about the milk soup crucian carp made by Master Si Aiming, the soup is fresh, thick and milky white, with some tender green onions floating in the heart, it is very delicious. There will be fresh crucian carp the other day, and let them stew soup. Lin Yan put some shredded bamboo shoots on a small plate for his grandmother. After dinner, Lin Yan chatted with her grandmother for a while before exiting. In the study, the housekeeper Joe handed over the gift list for today's gifts and the gift list for his own return. Although it is called Lixia cake, how can there be only cake? It's all a long list of things. Butler Joe is an old man, and he has his own measure of how to receive gifts and return them. Lin Yan just turned it over and handed it back to him. Butler Joe laughed again, there are also two temples and nunneries that also sent cakes, and according to the rules they gave money to the basket. If you are a monk, just follow the big rules of Beijing. Lin Yan nodded nonchalantly, just watch and deal with it. The housekeeper Zhou was very close to himself, and smiled more and said, A Lang should also marry a bride. It is like a housewife who is the master of human affairs. Lin Yan let out a hum and looked down at the book. Butler Zhou was a little confused by the host's um, did he hear it or just said it? Shen Xiaoguang also ate cake for a day today. There were many good believers who burned incense and offered offerings in the nunnery. Afterwards, these offerings naturally belonged to the nuns in the nunnery. Some of them sent cakes out and pressed baskets in return, as well as summer cakes. As a result, there were a lot of various cakes in the nunnery. Jing Qing picked up two of the most meticulously collected plates, and sent them to Shen Xiaoguang in person, smiling, thank you for the guidance of donor Shen in the past two days, and I made a good summer cake. It has won a lot of face for the nunnery. Mrs. Liu Qiuagong and Mrs. Yeshilang have personally praised them, saying that they have the character of royal banquet cakes in the palace. What I didn't say is that the money for the basket was also more generous than in previous years. The temples and nunneries send food to others during the Chinese New Year and festivals, one is to maintain relationships, and the other is to fight the autumn wind. How can a serious person let them come back with an empty basket? It is necessary to put some property in the basket, which is called money in the basket, which is also a way of making money as agreed in the temple. Shen Xiaoguang naturally told her to be polite. How many good things I ate from the donor Shen in the past? Today I left the tip of the offering, and the donor also tasted ours. Shen Xiaoguang said with a smile, Then I will try it, see which one is outstanding, and eat it according to the gourd painting. Jing Qing smiled and said, It's not me bragging, tell me to see, there is nothing better than ours. Shen Xiaoguang laughed more and more. She knew that this was Jing Qing and grateful for her help. The nun Jing Qing does not necessarily understand the Dharma very well, and even she is not shrewd, but she is loyal and sincere, and the nuns in the nunnery are convinced of her. Shen Xiaoguang brewed tea with the remaining bit of pickled peony, and drank tea and ate cakes with Jing Qing. Master Jing Qing brought these pastries. Where can I send it? I only visited a few shops in the workshop, and I know a few outside the workshop. The other ones were sent by other teachers and sisters. Shen Xiaoguang nodded. Su Shi was really happy today, and Jing Qing followed the gossip about the house in Beijing. The Duke of Lu's family is getting more and more lavish. If he hadn't been in contact with him long ago, I'm afraid he wouldn't be able to enter his house. It can be seen that concubine Chu in the palace is really favored. Shen Xiaoguang nodded, concubine Chu was indeed favored. I don't know what kind of beauty concubine Chu is. Jing Qing whispered, I think Mrs. Liu is majestic, but her color is not very good. But his second mother is a beauty. Son. I don't know which lady came from this Ernie Ang. 
Jing Qing made a second understanding, and said, looking at the face, it does not look like a mother and daughter, but when they get along, they are very close. He also sighed, the lady of the country is really benevolent and virtuous. Shen Xiaoguang followed her and said, it's really benevolent and virtuous. Er Niang is not only getting better and better, but also more enthusiastic about Buddhist affairs. I heard that we are in Kongxian Fang, not far from the Kuagong's mansion, so she said that she would come and stay for a few days and worship Buddha. Pray. Shen Xiaoguang then sent Shunzui favors, she is a faithful girl. Shen Xiaoguang became neighbors with this faithful girl within two days. Guangming Nunnery occupies a small area, the front yard is dedicated to the Bodhisattva, the backyard and the left cross yard house the nuns of this nunnery, and the right cross yard is reserved for pilgrims. Shen Xiaoguang occupied two main rooms, leaving three main rooms and six wing rooms. Jing arranged for someone to clean them early in the morning. Because Guangming Nunnery is located in the city, pilgrims can easily come and go, and few people come to stay here. There was no refusal, but she was brought to the host. Treating a noble girl, which made Shen Xiaoguang laugh, the little nun is really childish and cute. When the second wife of the Duke of Liu arrived, Shen Xiaoguang was tinkering with pickled fish in the yard. Two days ago, I bought a lot of small crucian carp, stewed the soup for a while, and there was a lot left, too many thorns, I couldn't do anything else, and it was not easy to store, Shen Xiaoguang washed and peeled the fish and dried it. Now that it has been sun-dried, a layer of fish, a layer of mashed grains, a layer of salt, and a layer of fish, a layer of mashed grains, and a layer of salt are stacked in a clay pot. I thought that after a few months, it would be cold, and I took it out and stewed it until the thorns were crispy and the meat was rotten, salty, and smelled of glutinous rice, which was just right to eat porridge. Footsteps and voices came from the door, Shen Xiaoguang shattered his hands covered with mashed mash, raised his eyes and faced a peach blossom face, he was fully made up, his eyebrows were long and thick, drawing almost to the center of the eyebrows, it is Lian Wen's eyebrows that are popular in the palace today. Even if she was poisoned by these odds haped eyebrows for a long time, Shen Xiaoguang was still not used to it, and the little lady's beautiful face was really a bit of a waste. Jing Qing introduced to the two parties, this is Mrs. Shen, who worships Buddha in this nunnery, and this is Mrs. Pang, who is a girl from the Duke of Lu's mansion. When it is said that it is proper to the Buddha, the economic problem becomes religious belief. Jing Qing is really a kind person. Shen Xiaoguang smiled, wiped his hands, and went to greet him. However, such a cover-up will not deceive the discerning person. Pang Erniang glanced at Shen Xiaoguang without saying a word. The maid next to her said to Jing Qing, Does the lady actually let my girl live with this poor girl? Jing Qing pursed her lips and said with an apologetic smile, Miss Shen was born in Loxia Shen. The maid, who was originally looking at people, was a little embarrassed. She glanced at the master and didn't know what to say. The mansion of the Duke of Liu was built during the Anxi Rebellion in the last year of Tianbao, and the founding fathers of the dynasty were still called new nobles in the eyes of the aristocratic family, not to mention the Duke of Liu. This? Moreover, the current Duke of Liu is not very capable, and the lintel is supported by concubine Chu in the palace. The background is shallow and it is a foreign relative. When the aristocratic family mentions it, only the mouth is pouted. Although Shen Xiaoguang is poor, he has a good surname. Shen Xiaoguang looked at Pang Erniang with a smile, Pang Erniang's eyes fell on her face, and she reluctantly returned a salute. Jing Qing was a little embarrassed, and chatted with Shen Xiaoguang, what is the donor Shen doing? Shen Xiaoguang smiled and said, I marinate the fish with mashed glutinous rice. The fish mackerel is really not a high-end taste, and Pang Erniang's face is getting worse and worse. Afraid that there would be another dispute, Jing Qing hurriedly nodded to Shen Xiaoguang, and together with Jing Kai, led the government and his party into the main room. Shen Xiaoguang slowly sealed the mouth of the pot in the yard. He wanted to put it in the shade under the tree in the yard, 
but after thinking about it, after all, he is not living alone in the yard, or he is not getting bored, he moved back indoors and tucked it under the bed. The three rooms on the west side are still being cleaned up. For such roommates, Shen Xiaoguang decided to adopt the diplomatic strategy of reasonable, beneficial and restrained. But think about it, after all, she is a girl from the government's government. She has a family and a business in Yanyang. How can there be a reason to stay in a nunnery all the time? So they didn't have to endure each other for long. However, Shen Xiaoguang was quite skeptical about the statement that Lei Guang nunnery lived in worshipping Buddha The temperament of this second Lady Pang did not look like a believer in Buddhism. But what did she come to do if she didn't come to pay homage to the Buddha? Did you like the pastries in the nunnery? Shen Xiaoguang sneered and smiled. Shen Xiaoguang but however but made fun of the little lady, and finally felt at ease. Abdominal slander is really a simple and easy way of psychotherapy. Shen Xiaoguang soon knew the purpose of Pang Erniang coming to Guangming Nunnery. In the evening, Shen Xiaoguang came back from shopping for vegetables The food at this time is cheaper than the morning food, but it's just sloppy, don't delay eating, just happened to meet Pang Erniang with two maids at the nunnery gate take a walk nearby. Shen Xiaoguang was a lady with a lot of heart and a generous heart after she eliminated people, and took the initiative to say hello to Pang Erniang. Looking at the rice, grain, and vegetables in Shen Xiaoguang's hand, remembering the maid's vivid description of Mrs. Shen selling cakes in Fangmen, Pang Erniang snorted, I didn't expect to be a neighbor with a street cake seller. Shen Xiaoguang tensed the corners of his mouth, hesitating for a moment, the rude little boy, should I discipline her parents or not wait for her to cause more trouble with her general knowledge? Shen Xiaoguang claimed to be a kind person, and decided to help her parents, after Pang Jinghao, the girl of the three kingdoms, she naturally disdained to be in the company of me and other people who lead cars and sell pulp. The strategist followed the first sovereign and felt aggrieved, after all, the first sovereign was the business of selling and weaving mats. Meaning, at once, he recognized the ancestors of the Pang family to Pang Tong of the three kingdoms. The Duke of Lu was overjoyed and since then he has called himself the Pangxi of Jingzhou. However, Shen Xiaoguang laughed at the new trick, admitting that they were descendants of Pang Fengchu, but he jumped the class and touched the porcelain to Lu Bei, who sold straw sandals. Pang Erniang didn't read much. Because of her own ancestors, she was forced to read a bit of the history of the Three Kingdoms. After listening to Shen Xiaoguang, it took a while to understand what she meant, and she couldn't help but get angry. Her face turned red, she stamped her feet, you, you the high-ranking official in red clothes who was looking for faults, the one who laughed was another man in white robe. Pang Erniang was horrified, glared at the man in the white robe, and then shyly bowed to the high official, I have seen Lin Sheyin. In the flash of light, Shen Xiaoguang reacted, this is probably the neighbor Jing Zhao Sheyin, and why did Pang Erniang come? Tisk tisk, could it be, could it be, the women of the Tang dynasty were really bold and open. I couldn't help watching the love reality show scene with great interest. The white robe also smiled narrowly and looked at his companion. Lin Yan only said to Pang Erniang lightly, you don't need to be more polite. The wind swept across Shen Xiaoguang. Shen Xiaoguang gave them a perfunctory gift, Lin Yan nodded, glanced at his friend and walked forward first. The white-robed gentleman and Shen Xiaoguang looked at each other, and they both smiled at the same time wretched people are always especially easy to communicate with each other. It was summer, and the weather was getting hotter, and Shen Xiaoguang began to tinker with various drinks. In the current dynasty, drink mainly played the medicinal and health value of treating diseases. It was not until the Song dynasty that it developed into a daily drink to quench thirst and thirst. Popular beverages at the time were buttermilk, cane pulp and, of course, the increasingly accepted tea. Of course, the first choice is sour plum soup, followed by jasmine tea and mung bean soup. Mint honey drink is also very good. Among them, Shen Xiaoguang loves sour plum soup. Boil the ebony, hawthorn dried tangerine peel, licorice, 
etc. bought in the drugstore, and then add candied sweet-scented osmanthus. In a previous life, Shen Xiaoguang once read a book written by a certain master that said that you should use white sugar to stain sweet-scented osmanthus, not honey. Try it, and sure enough, the taste is more refreshing, everyone is everyone after all. In such a hot weather, drinking the thick, sweet and sour plum soup with cool air, Master Yuan Zhu, the host, was full of praise, in the past, there was a Zen master who made five color drinks, among which few fang leaves it is green drink, root is red drink, buttermilk is white drink, black plum syrup is swanyan, and jianggui is yellow drink. Buttermilk is the most well known, and there are imitations of others. I have also drank black plum syrup from several companies, it's not as good as you. Shen Xiaoguang smiled, of course, my recipe has been improved for thousands of years. Shen Xiaoguang boiled jasmine tea, mung bean soup, mint honey drink, etc. Please host the teacher too to taste and express his thoughts on the Dragon Boat Festival, go to the Qujiang River to sell. Yuan Zhu Shitai is a monk, but she has a scholar's attitude of talking nothing. She once didn't understand Shen Xiaoguang, a high-class lady who only set up a small stall to make money, but now she some people got used to it and helped her come up with ideas, mung bean drink is too common, not fresh enough, and there are too many samples, but it doesn't show that this black plum soup is good, in my opinion, just drink black plum, and add jasmine tea. Shen Xiaoguang felt that the jasmine tea she smoked was not very good, which was naturally compared with the jasmine fragrance she drank in her previous life. If it is said that the black plum drink can still make six or seven points of the shadow of the sour plum soup of later generations, this jasmine fragrant piece has the meaning of one and a half points at most. Light and sweet with a little bitterness, it fits the feelings of literati and elegant scholars. Shen Xiaoguang felt that Master Yuanzhu was a senior eater, and his suggestion should be advisable, so he decided to cook several large jars of sour plum soup, and then buy some ice and put it on, which is considered an ice drink, start the tea stove, and now boil water to make jasmine tea, which is considered a hot drink. Yuanzhu high fives, she thinks she is very thoughtful, she is very particular about people, she also loves hot tea in summer and when this jasmine tea is just fried, there are jasmine flowers floating on the tea powder, which is really beautiful teacher Tai, who was arrogant at first, will now do customer analysis and product positioning. What to sell and drink is the second, the key is to eat. Of course, the first choice for Dragon Boat Festival is Zongzi, red dates, candied dates, red bean, mung bean, these conventional sweet rice dumplings are naturally not to mention, chicken rice dumplings, mountain mushroom lean meat rice dumplings, salted egg yolk rice dumplings are standard, and it seems that Datang should also be the people opened their eyes and feasted. When Shen Xiaoguang first arrived in Yeting, it was the Dragon Boat Festival soon. She divided two rice dumplings that were not steamed and had two red dates in them. She thought it was the treatment of female slaves better than Lao, okay, what bike do you want? Later the situation improved, and I still helped the royal kitchen for a while. Only then did I know that the emperor ate, only three or two kinds of stuffing, only the heat was more sufficient. The point is, they like to pour sugarcane syrup on top of them, the throat gets tired just thinking about it. In addition, because Iwawa was very popular in the nunnery, Shen Xiaoguang decided to make stuffing in advance and make some Iwawa on the spot. In addition to preparing materials, hiring a car, and making, thanks to the large stove in the nunnery, Shen Xiaoguang borrowed the rice dumplings, and the nun and the handyman in charge of the cook also helped, busy talking it was not until the night before the Dragon Boat Festival that he was ready. As soon as the gate opened the next day, Shen Xiaoguang sat in the rented donkey cart, pulled all kinds of food and utensils, and rushed to Qujiang. Kongxian Fong is in the northwest of the city, and Qujiang is in the southeast of the city, it is not too close, but when Shen Xiaoguang arrives, it is still early, let her find a good place to set up a stall. This place is not far from the river, facing the main road, 
not far from there is a pavilion corridor for people to rest, next to a few big trees with pavilions and pavilions, and even two rocks under the trees, you can sit and rest. Shen Xiaoguang secretly sighed his good luck, then quickly set up the table and set up the stall. When the pot of hot zongzi was steaming, the pot of boiling water began to squeak, and there were twenty or thirty iwawo in his hand, the number of tourists on the Qujiang River increased, and when the sun was shining. Now, the nobles of BMW Xiongch have arrived. With two eyes, the more people who see it, the more people buy it. Zongzi sells well, I heard that there are meat fillings, and there are quite a lot of people in the Tang dynasty who are willing to try them, but they are still not as good as the Iwawo and the cold and sour ones. Sour plum soup, while the jasmine tea of literati and elegant scholars is high and low, of course, it may also be out of season for selling hot tea in summer, and few people are interested. Shen Xiaoguang pinched Iwawo while worrying about the ice that he had spent a lot of money on this morning at the ice store although it was placed in a small box and wrapped with a small cotton mattress but it's still getting more and more condensed, so I'm afraid there will be no ice for the two buckets of sour plum soup in the back, and I'm listening to passers-by chatting by the way. Two gentlemen were chatting and watching the dragon boat race by the riverside, and they felt regretful that I didn't have the chance to see the beauty of the sky. Shen Xiaoguang was also very regretful the emperor watched the boat race in the pavilion of the royal Qujiang Biwen, there is no reason to walk along the street. It would be great if you moved the few times you met the emperor in the palace to this place, so that you can advertise with the head of the country and play something like Kangxi fish head, Yet Qianlong's roast chicken, Lafayette minced pork biscuits, Saint Sour Plum Soup and Royal A.I. Wo Wo came out. My whole body is happy. The Hanlin Bachelor's poem Cloud Shen Xiaoguang choked, although he studied in Yeting for two years, and also learn to write poetry, after all, it is not this material, and it smells like oil. Although I didn't meet the emperor by chance, but the rich and noble people do have some pictures of wildness, ten money a bowl of sour plum soup, Shen Xiaoguang filled a kettle, and gave a single after adding a small piece of ice, the other party actually gave two tails of small silver ingots. The sour plum soup is so expensive. The more wealthy customers, the better. What kind of drink are you? An officer with leather boots and bright armor came over and asked. It's ebony drink, with hawthorn, licorice, and ice. It's the best way to relieve the heat. The officer glanced at Shen Xiaoguang and nodded, all right. Shen Xiaoguang filled a bowl and handed it to him, the officer drank it, and then decided to round up the rest. The officer asked a few soldiers to move it. Shen Xiaoguang generously used the rest of the ice and sold the jar to them. Before noon, the dragon boat race has not yet started, and the same drink has been sold out. After doing the math, these sour plum soup actually made a good five or six thousand dollars, almost catching up with the profit of selling pancakes for two months. Shen Xiaoguang continued to do Ai Wow in a good mood, but in a blink of an eye he saw a group of noble girls in the pavilion over there. One of them was quite familiar Mrs. Pang E.R. The author has something to say M.R. Yek Wongkin's The Story of Bean Juice According to De Miscellaneous, There Are Changes. I heard that A. Pang recently lived in the nunnery to pray to the Buddha. A girl wearing a golden mud pomegranate skirt laughed. Pang Erniang stood on the edge of the pavilion, listening to the girl's question, she smiled slightly flattered, exactly. I don't know which nunnery it is. The girl in the pomegranate skirt asked with a smile. Several ladies are looking at Pang Erniang. It is the Guangming Temple in Changxian Square, Pang Erniang thought for a while, and added, Their host, Master Yuanju, is very profound in Buddhism. Guangming Nunnery The girl in the pomegranate skirt smiled meaningfully. A girl in a jade-colored shirt next to her fanned the wind with a fan, raised her eyebrows and asked with a smile. The summer cakes sent by Guangming in this year are different from the past, very delicious, could it be from A. Pang Fang Zi? Pang Erniang subconsciously glanced at Shen Xiaoguang over there, she was a little hesitant to deny it, it was rare to show her face like this in front of people. The Pang family also has a private party? 
I think it's an old recipe from Jingzhou or Shu. The Pang family has a shallow foundation, how many generations of recipes have passed down like a big family? As for the Jingzhou and Shuzhong mentioned later, it is a satire of the Pang family for pretending to be their ancestors. The courtesies of noble ladies are usually so sweet and savage, with sharp needles hidden in the silk. Several girls laughed. In the middle, a girl wearing a gold embroidered autumn colored shirt smiled and hit the girl in the pomegranate skirt. Twelve mothers are too narrow. Then she smiled at Pang Erniang, a Pang Mo will take offense. Pang Erniang turned pale, bit her lip, and was about to turn away, or say something, but finally held back. Shen Xiaoguang stabbed the small stove with the fire stick, put the hot dumplings on the pot again, and tut twice in his heart, a character like Pang Erniang's overlord, who was run down today. It's really pitiful. They're not the same kind of people, so don't get together in a bunch. The girl in the golden embroidered autumn scented shirt looked a little older, and seemed to be the head of these noble ladies, we've had enough rest, let's go over there to see. The little maid next to her advised, there are many people over there, Wu Niang was carefully bumped. The girl in the pomegranate skirt smiled first, it's okay, I see people from Jing Zhao Mansion. The girl with the golden embroidered shirt blinked again. Just passing by Shen Shao Guang's stall, the girl in the jade-colored shirt looked at the Iwowo on the bamboo grate, a little surprised, looked at Shen Shao Guang, and then looked at Pang Erniang who was behind her. A trace of kindness, and did not mention the stubble just now. Pang Erniang only knew that Shen Shao Guang was selling Zongzi and sour plum drink, but she didn't expect this and her unattractive face became more and more difficult to look at. Gone. Pang Erniang stopped, she was holding back her tears just now, but when she said this slightly kind rebuke, she couldn't help but burst into tears. Shen Xiaoguang felt embarrassed, and hurriedly lowered his head and pretended to take a nap. But after a while, Pang Erniang came over and said in a nasal voice, What are you pretending? I know you heard it. Shen Xiaoguang smiled awkwardly and touched her nose, Miss Peng, come to a bowl of jasmine tea to quench your thirst. Shen Xiaoguang just said casually, the ladies are very particular, and the maids around them all bring their own food and drinks. I thought she would walk away, but who would have thought that Peng Erniang took a look at Shen Xiaoguang and actually took the bowl of flower tea. The maid next to her reminded softly, Wu Niang and the others have all gone away. Pang Erniang muttered, it's all slapped in the face, so what are you going to do? Looking at Pang Erniang's handsome face with two funny thick eyebrows, Shen Xiaoguang sighed, she was still a child of 1677. Shen Xiaoguang put a few AI nests in a small white porcelain plate, pushed them to Pang Erniang's hand, and then bowed his head and rolled his skin to busy himself. Pang Erniang actually started eating and the maids looked at each other and Shen Xiaoguang, but said nothing. Pang Erniang ate the cake and drank tea. She seemed to be in a better mood, and said in a low voice, I'm leaving. When she was about to say thank you, she held her back for a while, but didn't say anything. Shen Xiaoguang chuckle, little girl. Shen Xiaoguang has a heart of gossip. Although he does not know the identities of the ladies, he is obedient and can guess the battle of words between you and me just now. A good-looking young Jing Zhao Sheyin is related. After a chance encounter that day, Shen Xiaoguang chatted with the host and asked a question, only to know that this Jing Zhao Sheyin was born in the Lin family of Hidong. The flow of the flow has already declined but even so, in the eyes of the gentry who advocate the glory of their ancestors and the glory of the old clan, it is not something that an out of he ordinary family like the Duke of Lu can reach. Infinite. Shen Xiaoguang shook his head, Pang Xionyang's girlish thoughts were probably going to go to waste. Shen Xiaoguang sighed about other people's stories, and was doing his own business. Seeing that it was almost noon, there were more and more people on the river bank, and the dragon boat race was about to start. Shen Xiaoguang's business is getting better and better. The beautiful Iwowo is really popular, it has been sold out, and the dumplings are also sold in drawers, 
but the jasmine tea is still not very popular. The gongs and drums on the river were loud, people were huddling, and cheers broke out from time to time, and the dragon boat race began. Shen Shaoguang's position can only see the back of people's heads. After a few rounds, the red team won the championship. The red team is the royal dragon boat team formed by the crown prince and several generals from the royal family. Shen Shaoguang smiled. There are unspoken rules everywhere. Since the race has been completed, those who can go to the banquet will naturally go to the banquet, and those who cannot go to the banquet will also have various parties or family banquets. Bought a little, then mostly went back early it was a little too sunny today. Shen Shaoguang moved the stall under the tree again, took out the remaining Zongzi in the basket and steamed it, watching the stream of people by the river gradually thinning out, resting my legs on the bed, and mentally calculating how much money I made today, and dreaming of my own dream of buying a home in the capital. In fact, if I have enough money, it is also very good to find a local owner in a place with beautiful scenery. The imperial driver returned to the palace, and the imperial army naturally also left, and Chu Zhang returned to Jing Zhao Mansion. When Bai Fuyin had the spring and autumn period, he returned to the office first, and Lin Yan led the officials who stayed behind on the last shift of the Dragon Boat Festival. The sun was very bright, and the river was bright and dazzling, Lin Yan walked out of the pergola slowly with his hands behind. Two green-robed officials and a few yamen were about to keep up, Lin Yan smiled and said, I just walked a little, and it doesn't count as the Dragon Boat Festival coming to Qujiangqi. The boss's joke was not funny, and several officials also laughed, and then they respectfully watched the Sheyin walk away by the river. When Lin Yan knocked on the table, Shen Xiaoguang was taking a nap with his head knocked. Suddenly woken up, Shen Xiaoguang blinked his bewildered eyes, wiped the suspected halazi on the corner of his mouth, stood up and said with a smile, Lang Jun, is it eating Zongzi or drinking some jasmine tea? Thinking of the cold and strong ebony drink of the Imperial Guard in the morning, Lin Yan smiled lightly, it's jasmine tea. Since no one was drinking tea, Shen Xiaoguang had already put out the stove that boiled the water. At this time, he refilled the iron kettle with water, moved it to the stove that was heating the dumplings, and brewed the tea with a small fan. Lin Yan sat down on the hu bed prepared for the guests and waited quietly. Shen Xiaoguang boiled the water, rinsed the bowl, put the tea leaves, and poured the water slowly. The girl's autumn-colored shirt was also a light yellow-green. Lin Yan picked up the porcelain bowl, took a sip, and put it down, A girl is in the market, are you happy? Shen Xiaoguang looked at him in surprise, why did he suddenly ask such a metaphysical question? Is this something for strangers to talk about? But suddenly I remembered Are You Happy from a news network in a previous life, a random survey on the social happiness of the deputy mayor? Shen Xiaoguang squinted and smiled and said, Now the world is full of Qing Haiyan, this city of Chang'an is rich and peaceful, and the children are happy and happy. Shen Xiaoguang felt that his answer was very standard and flattered. Loud and not awkward. Lin Yan glanced at Shen Xiaoguang with a half-smile, but said nothing, and slowly drank tea. Shen Xiaoguang took a rag and wiped it in the east and west, and packed up. After a while, Zhao Er, who was driving the donkey cart, came to pick it up and went back. Lin Yan finished his tea and stood up. Shen Xiaoguang smiled and said, Five cents in a bowl, Lang Jun. Lin Yan took out his purse took out five cents of money, put it on the table, and paced away. Shen Xiaoguang was a little disappointed, and thought she could get the last tip today. The author has something to say in the Tang Dynasty, there was also a way of brewing tea, which was called, but it was not as common as decoction. Rub glutinous rice add glutinous rice grains for a while, cook it for breakfast. Shen Xiaoguang is from the north and came into contact with the south to eat when he was in college. There is a girl from Jiangnan in the same bedroom, with watery skin and a soft and glutinous voice. She loves to tinker with dormitory cooking. She can't wait to make a full-fledged meal with a rice cooker, and she can play a good gorilla with the dormitory ant. 
It was at that time that I learned this wine from this ingenious girl from the water town. The first time I ate it, I didn't think so, but then I fell in love with this faint fragrance and sweetness, which is different from the rich and colorful food in the north, but it was very ironic in my stomach. Thinking about those happy times, Shen Xiaoguang sighed, rainy days are always very easy to make people feel old things. The rain was still falling, and there was more water in the yard. There were blisters on it. Shen Xiaoguang tilted his head and looked at the rain. It was just in time for the morning drum, which delayed the setting up of the stall in the morning. Since the Dragon Boat Festival, God seems to have woken up suddenly and made up for the rain that was owed before. It is a big drop for three days and a small drop for two days. The strange thing is that the heat does not because the rain subsided, it rushed towards everyone in a more unbearable way damp heat, the so-called sauna day in later generations. Because of this weather, Shen Xiaoguang's plan to set up a stall to make money has also been delayed a lot. Fortunately, he saved some money a while ago, especially at the Dragon Boat Festival Qujiang Dragon Boat Festival, he almost made a quarter of profits, so there's no need to hurry hurry is no use, right? Shen Xiaoguang held a bowl, ate glutinous rice balls, and drank wine-stuffed soup with candied osmanthus, when the rain finally stopped, and there was another guest along with the rain. Broad shoulders, long legs, black face, and a strong body holding up the sauce-colored round neck robe. Shen Xiaoguang narrowed his eyes slightly, remembering the officer who bought all the sour plum soup that day. It shouldn't be because of a bad stomach. Zhai Jinkai looked curious and inquiring, Shen Xiaoguang didn't chase her, just smiled and asked, What is the general looking for? The officer is just an 8th rank Suanja colonel. He opened his mouth to this little lady and promoted himself to a 10 level officer. Niang's ebony drink is very good and my colleagues and brothers are thinking about it, and they inquired in every possible way, only to find out that the little lady lives in this nunnery in Changxian Fang, and someone just passed by the shop and wanted to buy more. I heard that this man was a general, Jinkai's expression brightened, and I heard that he was buying sour plum soup, and the eight-character eyebrows drooped down in despair, and he should make money from this surnamed Shen. But I don't want Shen Xiaoguang to push the business out, General does not know, it is specially cooked for the Dragon Boat Festival, but it is not available on weekdays. If the general wants to drink at home, tell him one day in advance, and prepare you can go down. If it is sent to the army, please forgive me if you dare not obey. The officer frowned, why? Looking at the general's clothes on that day, I think it was a person from the Imperial Army. The Imperial Army guards the Emperor and protects Jiangi. The responsibility is really heavy, and the food procurement also has its own regulations. The water of the Imperial Army is too deep, and it's okay to sell it occasionally when there is a large audience. It's better not to die now. Shen Xiaoguang has always cherished his life. The officer did not expect Shen Xiaoguang to be so cautious, so he could not help but look at her. Shen Xiaoguang smiled and let him look. The little lady doesn't want to, and I don't force her to say goodbye. The officer put on his hat and turned to leave. Actually, it's not impossible Shen Xiaoguang smiled. The officer frowned and turned to look at her. This black plum is in the pot or the pot of the imperial chef, the cooking is the same, why not let the chefs cook it? Of course it didn't come out. It's not that I haven't done it in the past. Suddenly, the officer responded, the girl wants to Shen Xiaoguang squinted his eyes and smiled, I would like to offer this ebony drink recipe, when the time comes, the chef will cook whenever he wants, cook as much as he wants, and cook as much as he wants, and it's clean. It's safe, and the general doesn't have to worry about it, that's great. Retail goes beyond wholesale and goes directly to the formula buyout stage. The officer nodded slowly, knowing the shrewdness of the little lady in front of him, he didn't dare to think that she was really giving, so he asked, how much is the little lady asking for? Shen Xiaoguang pondered slightly, how about twenty tails of silver? 
All public chefs in the Yaman have specially allocated food books for food expenses, and the government offices of each Yaman reserve the basics and make profits, and the food expenses are not used at all, so the officials often divide the food. As the military directly under the royal family, the imperial army only cares about these twenty tales of silver. The officer is more than thirty years old, and has been promoted to an eighth rank officer, and his monthly salary is only a dozen tales. Hearing Shen Xiaoguang open his mouth to ask for twenty, he can't help frowning, but thinking of the fees in the public kitchen, Shangguan's pomp, the people above or can accept it. Shen Xiaoguang knew that he was a minor official, and he was afraid that he could not be the master, so he smiled and said, even though the matter is small, in the end it involves the ban on eating and drinking, the general may wish to consider it carefully. The officer nodded to Shen Xiaoguang put on the bamboo hat, and walked out with the scorpion in his hand. Jinkai on the side looked at Shen Xiaoguang, as if the door to a new world had been opened. Shen Xiaoguang felt that just a sour plum soup, not the dragon meat in the sky, how much more can you make if you monopolize it? Besides, I am really short of money right now setting up a stall outside is greatly affected by the weather, and the place at the entrance of the workshop is too small so I can't even set up a table, just a small stove every day to spread pancakes, when will I be able to earn enough pension money? So, it's better to set up a small shop. In the afternoon of the second day, seeing the figure of the officer, Shen Xiaoguang knew that it was done. Shen Xiaoguang took out the ingredients and gave them to each other with all his heart. When the bell was about to ring, a small pot of sour plum juice was finally boiled, put it in the well in the backyard of the nunnery, and took a small bowl for the officers and the miscellaneous tasting. The officer nodded, it smells like this. He asked the handyman again, have you learned it? The clerk is very young, about twenty or so, and has a pair of smart smiling eyes. Seeing the officer ask, he hurriedly smiled and said, the captain can rest assured, he has learned everything. Shen Xiaoguang originally wanted to write a recipe to receive money from people, he had to pay both openly and brightly. Said, if you can't remember anything, feel free to ask me. The officer nodded and left with the handyman. Shen Xiaoguang weighed the twenty tails of silver, and returned to the house in a happy mood.